Hello everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. Today we're doing a fairly easy video because I'm obviously limited on space and places I'm allowed to go right now. Um, so we're gonna be doing a highlighter video. I'm gonna be swatching every highlighter in my collection. I felt inspired by Teresa is Dead's video that she uploaded, I think yesterday, where she went through a highlighter collection and swatched everything. So let's just uh, let's just do that because uh, <laughs> I want to make more videos, but I don't know what to do. So we'll just start. I have my Lime Crime highlight palettes, three of them, and that's all of these right here. I got mermaids, fairies, and opals, and opals is the original one. And I found absolutely all of these at TJ Maxx, actually, and they were pretty inexpensive, so these are really nice. I don't find myself using the Mermaids palette that often because these are all, like, really fun, bright colors. And I hope you can see that well. Yeah, those are pretty. I think, like, even though they are fun and bright, some of them can be kind of subtle, which is nice because then I don't have to worry about it, like, being two in your face. This is the Fairies palette. I really, really like this shade in the middle, although this one is great for like neutral looks. And the kind of orangey one over here is a little too dark for me, but I'll make it work anyways. Yeah, see how bright that purple one is? Super pretty and reflective. I mean, I honestly love this formula so much because it's not like chunky, you know? I mean, yeah, some of them have glitter in them, and you can kind of see the glitter left on my hand, maybe, but... This is a really nice, just... shimmery, metallic formula. I think the Opal's palette is probably the most versatile one of all of them. And in the spirit of keeping with the brand, we also have this Lime Crime Sun Kissed Face Palette. And the highlighters in here are just insane. You really only get like two shades. This one's a blush. It's very shimmery and this bronzer is very shimmery, but on me these are not highlights, so I'm not going to be swatching those, just these two up top. This yellow is insane. Like look at that. Look at that pigmentation. This is the one shade that if I'm wearing this in public, people actually ask me about it in real life. And that does not happen, because I don't know people who care about makeup, but oh my god, that's so beautiful. Like, that's obviously not something that goes with every single look, but I love wearing that shade because it's just so blinding. And then we also have all my Anastasia palettes. These are all the glow kits I've picked up throughout the years. I am one of those unfortunate people that paid full price for almost every single one of these, except for the ultimate. This is the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. And even though a couple of these are too dark for me, I'll just swatch the whole thing, because why not? This is the first glow kit I ever purchased. And it's still in really good condition. I mean, you can see, like, they still show up really well. Like, bronze is obviously too dark for me. I think I can make the other ones work. But obviously that bottom shade is just a little bit too much. But these are so gorgeous and reflective and wet and... Just a really nice, like, every day, if I want to look a little bit shinier than normal, I guess, but still not, like, glitter bomb. I don't know. This is my Aurora Glow Kit, and this one's a little bit broken, so I have to be careful because this Lyra shade fell out. It just, like, straight up crumbled and fell out, which is unfortunate because I really like that color. And I don't use this one as much as I use the um, Moonchild, and I'll have to do a couple dips into this one to swatch all of them because the shades are a little bit more out there. Let me swatch the last couple, clean my hand off. Kind of get my finger on the corner of that one. Because I can still use it, it's just like mostly gone, you know? I think I accidentally swatched the green twice, my bad. But yeah. It's a really great palette. The only one that's not super shiny is this purple right here. Still nice though. Gotta make sure my hands are dry before I swatch the next one, otherwise I'll get some hard pan. 
This is the Moonchild Glow Kit. I still love the reflective with like, rainbow thing that it does on the packaging. And I've had this one forever. I bought this when it launched. And I bought this and the Sun Dipped from the ABH website at the same time. And this one, if you're looking for a really versatile, like subtle way to wear colorful highlighters, this is going to be your best palette right here. Let's watch the last two. Lucky Clover is probably my favorite shade out of here. I would think it would be Pink Heart because I love pink so much, but Lucky Clover is just so cool. These are so multi-dimensional and just beautiful. And again, like the Lime Crime ones, they're not glittery, they're just beautiful and they give you the best sheen. So I still stand by the Anastasia Glow Kits. I have the Nicole Guerrero. I bought this when it first launched, so this is not the relaunch that just came out. This is the original Nicole Guerrero. I don't know if the formula is still the same. I've heard mixed things about it, like they changed the formulation or whatever. These. This is my second most glittery Anastasia palette. Although not every single shade has glitter in it. Daydream, this orange one right here, is the epitome of fall. And I stand by what I said in that fall favorites video. And these last two are a little bit too dark for me, but I like to mix them so that I can actually use these shades because they're just a bit too dark for my skin tone. Gorgeous palette. And lastly, for the Anastasia palettes, I have the Ultimate Glow Kit, which is the most glittery ABH glow kit that I have. I don't know about like the Sugar or the Dream or uh, Gleam or Glow because I don't have any of those, but this one. You can see I've hit pan and white sand because it's probably my favorite highlighter of all time. Just do three at a time this time. There's white sand in the middle. It just complements my skin tone really well. Bottom three. I don't know if you can tell on the camera how glittery it is. Oh yeah, you can. You can see the sparkles. Still really beautiful though. I apologize if the lighting sucks. I'm using my window and it's really cloudy and windy out, so I'm getting like intermittent sun. But if I turn the lamp on up here, I'll show you. It's way too bright. So I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to do a couple singles next and then we'll get into the rest of my palettes. I have this Wet n Wild single in Precious Petals. I don't know how I feel about this. I think it's too dark for me. I'm pretty sure this is just a little too dark for me. Yeah. Because you can still see it when I turn my hand, which means that it's too dark. If I really blended it out, I could get like a subtle highlight out of it, but it's not really my thing. I have this Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in the shade Pearl. This was like a little sample that came in a, a kit. And that one's got kind of a pinky shift to it. Just a little bit, it's very subtle. I have this ColourPop Flexitarian highlighter and I've also hit a lot of pan on this one. I use this quite often. And these are just so soft and beautiful. that one's one of my favorites. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I also have this ColourPop highlighter stick. And this is the shade Earth. And let's watch that one right here. These, like Teresa said, were a little bit disappointing. Like, I feel like I don't get much of a shine from that one. I think these are a little bit more subtle, which is okay. That's all right. There's Earth up top and Flexitarian on the bottom. And then lastly, for my singles, I have this Too Faced one. This is the Candlelight Rosy Glow. This is so old. I got this as a free sample when I bought my chocolate bar palette years ago. And it still works. I've scraped off the top layer a couple times, but I still really like this shade. And that's what that looks like down there. I don't think it's meant to be quite blinding. But yeah, those are all my singles. All right, and lastly, we're gonna get to the rest of my palette type things. This is the Too Faced Pineapple Bronze. I also picked this up at TJ Maxx. Oops, there's my face. 
and it's like a really nice gold highlight and I thought this was going to be too dark for me but actually this looks quite nice it like kind of is a little too dark but if I blend it out I still get a really nice subtle highlight so I like that one I also have this Naked Skin Shape Shifter palette and this one has a cream highlight as well as a powder highlight so this is the powder And there's what that one looks like. My camera's about to die, so we gotta we gotta hurry this up just a little bit. And then the cream highlighter over here is more of a balm. Like I really don't get much pigment out of this, but I think this one's meant to be more of a subtle palette. So there's what that one looks like. I have this Laura Geller Dripping in Gold palette, and two out of three of these are too dark for me, but we'll swatch them anyways. I mean, these are truly blinding. Like, people say Laura Geller highlights are the best. They're not joking. <laughs> oh, so much one down here. Just nice, again, like wet, metallic. Let me clean my hand off. I've got three more palettes to get through. I also have a highlighter in the Sweet Peach Glow palette, but that's in my overnight bag. If my camera's gonna die, I don't have time to grab it, so. <laughs> This is the Tarte Skin Twinkle Lighting Volume 2 palette. It's from the Rainforest of the Sea collection. And I really like these because they're like almost cream. Like they're powders, but they feel like creams when you swatch them. I don't know if you can really see that super well, but they are just really nice, like shiny highlights again. I also have this MAC Shiny Pretty Things that I purchased at TJ Maxx. And this highlighter is kind of like a peachy champagne. There it is at the bottom. It's like surprisingly strong. You know, I would think that it wouldn't, like for some reason I always think of like MAC as like not super pigmented highlighters, which I wouldn't know because I don't really buy a straight from MAC. But this is, I'm, I'm getting off course. This is the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. I also purchased this at TJ Maxx because I feel like buying from third party like that makes it okay because the seller is not getting any of your money. And this like the Moonchild is just, Beautiful. I like to use these more on the eyes, but you honestly could use them for both. That's beautiful. And last but not least, we have this Too Faced Triple Scoop Highlighter Palette. I just, can we take a minute to appreciate this packaging? Look at how cute that is. God, that's adorable. Got a little ice cream on the inside. And this is what it looks like. These are probably the most glittery highlighters that I own. And I love them. I cannot use the dark shade as a highlighter, of course. And the pink is a little borderline, but I could mix it with the white and it turns out okay. These are so pretty. Look at that. Look at that shiny, shiny glitter. And that is my last highlighter palette. And that is my highlighter collection. I'm glad I made it through before my camera died, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and maybe we'll do eyeshadows next. Have a good day.